Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mohamed Al Dabbag from Nabu Research Academy. Today, in our video, we are going to talk about uh, literature review. This is my email down. If anyone wants to ask any question, you can email me, or also you can put a comment on Facebook or YouTube. So in the beginning, I'm going to talk about a uh, research problem. There is one, one thing that I didn't, I didn't mention. In uh, the research problem, there is there is a main problem, and there are sub problems. So the uh, the main problem, for example, I don't have money. I just I want to make it so easy. So, for example, I tell you, my friend, I don't have money. So okay, you will said, well, okay, go to find a job or something like no. So this is the, the main problem that I don't have money, but that is easy to make you feel like, you know, oh, sorry, like you need to make it to support it with more, with more related sub problems. So if I tell you another scenario, if I tell you I don't have money and I have to, r I have rent to pay tomorrow. Okay. And I tell you, I don't have petrol in my car. And I told you, I don't have food in the house. Just imagine now, the the main problem that I don't have money with these sub problems now is more strong. Like when I, I tell you this, you, you will be, you will feel what I feel, and you will, you know, you will support me. You will say, oh, okay, I'm sorry about that, and you might borrow me. And just imagine if I tell you all of these, and I'm, and you know that I have a family. So just imagine I have a family, they will not have a f a food and they will not have a uh, house to stay. Or how can I take them, like say for school or something, I take the kids. So here, here can make the problem more affected and can make it bigger, you know. So we need to mention this one in our problem statement in the introduction if we write a paper. Or we need to man this, mention this one in the research problem and the thesis. It's so important you write your main problem and you support it with the sub problems. And if you can give example, it will be better. Okay? So this is what I forget last time I didn't mention. Okay. Now we, we, we ask ourselves a question. Why we write literature review? Okay. So the literature review is is the previous study. We write it because we want to have a look about the previous study. Okay? So, okay. Why do I need to have a look about the previous study? Okay. For the first one, I want to prove the main problem. Okay. Let's say, who said this your problem? It's a problem. So, you cannot write everything in the problem statement. So, here you need to support it in the literature review. Because the literature review is open. You can write whatever you want to write. Okay? So this, this for example, in the, in the paper or in the thesis, is unlimited. You can write any, 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 any page, you know? So here, let's say, I provide proof that this problem is a problem, the first one. And the second one, I should support my solution for the problem. Okay, let's say, okay, now you prove the problem is a problem. Okay, now you, you, you have to support how you can solve this problem. And also you have to support that your solution no one used before. Okay, because why you need to write a, a, uh, about, you know, about a problem that is already solved. So here, you need to mention first that your problem is a problem is real problem is exist okay and it's really effect it's really making bad effect on the society or on, on anything and the second one you need to support your solution you need to uh, support how you are going to solve this one you need to find the way in that one okay you need to say okay this the people use this 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 but they didn't use this one okay this all we take it up from the previous study. 
okay how we get the pre uh, the the previous study how we get the previous work or the literature review we get it the cheapest way the free is the google scholar but it's better if you use another database like science direct and others is so important to support your paper with this uh readable uh, databases okay and here let's say i find this one then i i download now let's say you have you you are gathering your paper and you are let's say you are downloading or you are gathering your paper let's for example you find one paper then you reach for 25 papers then 250 papers then in the total you have 1000 paper okay so the outcome here 1000 paper okay now what i need to do how to filter them do you think when i write the the papers I need to write all of this 1000 and I need to mention all of this 1000 no that's 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 really difficult and that's impossible so what you need to do how you are going to filter them you filter them by reading the abstract introduction and conclusion because not all the papers that you that you download are are really related to the to the idea to the problem that's why I told you before you when you write your problem put it at circle then you will you will know okay this paper is related to this problem this paper is related to my idea this paper is related to my topic when you write the abstract introduction and conclusion then you can figure out that this paper that you write is related or not if not related you put it aside if related you put it with the group that you are like the group of the paper that you are using okay and another things also you can use you can use the da the date like you when you download this 1000 one of the way of filtering this 1000 the date if it's old paper then d don't don't use it you can use the paper within five years ten years maximum this will be good but it doesn't mean that you never use this very old paper you can use one two three you know if it's really related and is very, it's really important like you you can use them as a concept the real concept maybe you can use them as the theory to solve the the, the issue because these things are really old we can use this one so here i will show you the filter let's say we have in the blue we have now 1000 paper then when we read the abstract when we read the introduction and conclusion then now okay i filter them i have only 250 then i read again i think again now i have only 150 i read and i think again i find only 50 papers that is really related to my topic okay so this 50 paper will be included included in the literature review and sometime in the paper we need less than this one we can read maybe we find only five papers that is really related to the to the topic especially if we, if we put the time filtering okay now this is another one it's really can help you this is the literature review table it can help you to 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 think to think about what are you going to write it can help you to find to support your problem statement it can help you to find the w the better solution for for your problem okay let's i will give you example the first column is the author you can write here the 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 title let's say the author a row and the a row you can write and the row sorry then here the title the third column is the area of study let's say you write internet of things method tool technique material that the paper used let's say they use the survey focus on contribution was there when you read the paper was their contribution the contribution here to introduce the area and discover the challenge and the finding of the paper what the author find okay here you can you can write just imagine if you have let's say here 10 20 papers then when you read them all when you put this one table in a photo of you and you will think 
you will find how you will find how to support your your problem and also you can find how you support your solution for this problem this table is really important and if you are doing a thesis you can write this table in your thesis as well in, in the literature review okay now we we go about critic literature review if you can see here in the red uh, square you can see here like the author writing and he put re reference every sentence he write he put reference every sentence he write he put reference here we cannot say that this is uh, a good literature review because here the author only mentioned about the previous authors in the in the good literature review in the critic literature review you have to write from your own like okay when i read about paper number one two three and then I, I i mention about okay what's my explanation what's what i got what's my idea when i read this uh, this uh three papers if you see the table here when you write the table here when you make it you you will you will find something okay you will find something that you can write so the literature review is not only mentioning about what the other said you need also to mention what's your opinion about others okay what you will choose why you choose this this topic and also why you are going to solve in this way all of this you need you need why you choose this this way to solve your your problem all of this you will need to write it when you write your literature review so the literature review is not only you take from others and you put you have to take from others you rewrite and also you put your opinion inside so the tip of today do you know this guy this man is Socrates so the Socrates have the Socratic method what's the secretic method the secret is uh, secretic method is question that you always have to ask yourself why okay so when you write the literature review you have always asking yourself why i write this section why i write this paragraph why i write this line so if you find the, the answer for your why then your literature review will be good and you have to know something if you write a good literature review your methodology will be easier and also your your uh, your conclusion will be will be good because the perfect literature review the perfect paper you will have and the perfect literature review in the thesis the perfect thesis you have So here is the question and answer. If you have any question, you can write it in the comment. And also you can uh, you can email me. And please share the, the video and also uh, subscribe the channel for the future uh, videos. Thanks for your listening. See you again.